Hi everybody, Julian here. Welcome to another episode of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you enjoyed the last week's weekly guitar meeting. I had presented several guitars of the Roma Expo guitars and um, we have received a lot of good messages from those luthiers. So we appreciate it a lot. Before we start, make sure to set your notifications bell for this outstanding concert. Goran Krivokapic is gonna play an absolutely stunning concert. He is one of my favorite classical guitarists. You will definitely enjoy it. Let's start with reading some comments. Ellen Roy Hawking writes, I think you could play a cardboard guitar and make it sound beautiful. Thank you very much. I think, I don't think, I'm convinced that the shape of your nails and to have that knowledge of producing a good sound on a guitar has a big, a huge impact on the sound of a guitar. Tokyo Frog writes Giovanetti. Besides Taki Senior and Junior, my favorite luthier from Italy. Julian, this video was awesome. Many people cannot make it to the Roma, so this video is a wonderful chance to get just a taste of that experience. Thank you very much for your comment and that was exactly our goal, to have a weekly guitar meeting only for the guitars of the Roma Expo guitars. Fred McKenney writes, what absolutely gorgeous sounding guitars from these fine Italian luthiers. Thanks Julian and Zikas for making it possible for us to hear a comparison of these incredible guitars from the Roma Expo. You're very welcome, Fred McKenney. Thank you for your comment. Nice guitar, writes, the Italian school of luthery stands out. They understand good traditional sound and they understand that it doesn't need to be improved with all sorts of modern gimmicks because any improvement is mostly questionable. The tone of their guitars is very pretty, never too bright, always balanced between treble and bass. Their guitars are light in weight and aesthetically pleasing. Exactly, I agree. Life well written, right? Life well written writes. Thank you, Julian. This is the first of the weekly guitar meetings I have watched. I will go back and enjoy the others too. I appreciate you taking your time with each guitar and your comments on them. Thank you very much for your nice words and welcome to the community. And let's start together with the guitars of this week because we have some amazing sounding guitars as every week. The first guitar of this week is a piece of history. This is made by Hermann Hauser, one of the most famous guitar luthiers in classical guitar history. And this guitar is from 1934. And this is built at the peak of the collaboration between Hermann Hauser and Andres Segovia. This guitar has a spruce top and maple back and sides and this is a Viennese model and we have a 63 centimeter scale and uh, yeah it's very light it's just beautiful and let's see how it sounds Wow, what a sound! And the sustain of this guitar is so long, I can stay for such a long time on a chord because it's still sounding and ringing. So, especially the mid range of the guitar. Wow! And it's very loud.
has also a very fast and strong response. So it reacts so fast to what to what you are playing. Especially if you change the chords. Wow, what a beautiful sounding guitar and it's very light and it's also really easy to play. The first one or two minutes I had to get too used to it, but um, after two minutes it gets very comfortable to play. Well, what do you think about the sound of this guitar? Of course, it sounds a little bit different than modern guitars, but uh, it's, it's very, very musical and um, also very balanced. So it's very comfortable to play on this guitar and it's just beautiful. Well, let's move to the next guitar. This guitar is a heavyweight champion from Australia. It's made by Kim Lisarak. It's from 2022, so it's very new and it has the number 318. 80, sorry. We have a cedar top on this guitar and coat back and sides. It looks so beautiful. As I already said, it's very heavy. It's very typical for Australian guitars. We have a lettuce brace top. And yeah, let's see how the sound is. Oh my god, this is such a loud guitar and you have a very long sustain, the sound is very airy and you have a lot of basses. So for me this is a perfect guitar for, for example, chamber music. If you play with violin or a lot of other instruments, if you play as a guitarist, you are always in the dynamic range on the downside. and with this guitar, you are well prepared for every fight. Wow, the sustain of this guitar is amazing. the higher positions if you play a chord it's still ringing and the intonation is amazing
So let's move to the next one. This beautiful guitar is made by a very well-known Japanese guitar luthier who is based in Germany, Kazuo Sato. This is from 2022 and this is the Prelude model. And it's a very beautiful guitar and also the rosette. I like it a lot. And it has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. What a beautiful color! It's, it sounds somehow very traditional, but still very punchy and loud and with good sustain. What do you think about this guitar? Somehow I can't stop to play on this guitar. It's, it's a very musical instrument with beautiful sound and very good dynamic range and also very open. Great instrument, wow! This guitar is made by a highly rated young Italian guitar luthier, Angelo Vailati. Angelo Vailati. This is from 2022. We have a beautiful spruce top on this guitar and... Can you guess the wood? It's a Ciricot. Back and sides. Yeah, it's a typical Italian guitar. Like, the, like one of the Roma Expo guitars. And it looks also very similar with the typical spruce top and circuit back and sides and beautiful details, very light guitar. Yeah, I'm very curious about the sound. Wow. 
Wow, what a beautiful tone and a lot of beautiful overtones. And a great tone separation and balance. You can hear every tone of a chord. Beautiful. I think this is a great guitar. I like the sound color of this guitar at the most. Let's move to the last guitar of this week. The last guitar of this week is made by one of the most respected French guitar luthiers, Dominique, no, not Field, de la Rue. Dominique de la Rue. This guitar is from 2022. It's a very new guitar. It has the number 415 and we have a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides. And we have a seven fan, traditional fan bracing. It's a very beautiful guitar. It looks very traditional and yeah, let's see how it sounds. Oh my God, what a sustain. Oh, this is amazing because if you, I mean, the sustain of a guitar, if a guitar has a long sustain, you usually hear the overtones of the guitar. But in this case, I hear every note, every note, every tone is still ringing. Wow, it's a joy to play. Thank you.
with the cedar top I have the feeling that this guitar still has a very bright and clean sound but still very powerful and with great sustain and balance I mean, you can hear by yourself uh, how this guitar sounds. Even in the higher positions, it's the intonation is so spot on and the sustain is still very long. Yeah, amazing guitar. Wow. And I mean, this is the best way to end the weekly guitar meeting for this week. I hope you enjoyed this weekly guitar meeting and please let me know in the comments which guitar did you like the most thanks for watching take care of yourself enjoy your weekend and see you next week